Hey Jurassic Park fans, I just want to show you guys a quick little review and uh, this is something that I just recently got today over at Target and today was our anniversary which is October 16th and we got married since um, October 16th, 2016 which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we just had to celebrate our anniversary. I didn't really film anything today, it's just I didn't want to, I just wanted to uh, kind of chillax for a while and you know um, share some times here so but overall we went to Target today and we saw the Goosebumps today which is the part the second movie of the Goosebumps series and it was it's okay that movie is it's really not um, what we expected it to be but you know overall it was definitely a decent film but um, anyways guys, I want to be able to do a review and show you guys this. And this is a pretty good, decent haul. Uh, check this out. Check it out. We got the Jurassic Park Jeep here, which is a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, the big difference compared to this and also the Carrier version, which is pretty darn amazing. Uh, this happens to be the Matchbox version. Um, this definitely cost like around between $14.99, so it ended up between uh, 16 bucks plus tax here and there. So um, overall, this is definitely a cool vehicle to have. One thing cool about this is that um, the front part here of the bumper, it retracts out. So it has this little cable here, which is a rope piece. And you can tell here in the back too as well. It also tells you what it does and you know as if from the movie from the first film where um, Dennis is trying to go to the boat and deliver uh, his uh, you know package on time which is the barbasol can and uh, fortunately he has to uh, get that uh, rod to go around a tree so that's pretty cool that they actually added this feature I wish they would have put something like this on the original Kenner toy let me uh, show you the Kenner toy here uh, so I can do a size comparison. So anyways, uh, here's a size comparison, which is the original Jurassic Park Kenner toy, JP27, which technically it should be 28, but that's pretty close enough. So overall, uh, definitely a cool original piece along with the newer version. And uh, I am digging it too because it's, you know, it's classic. One of these days, I will try to find a Kenner Explorer on eBay. If I could be able to get a chance to find one, that would be pretty darn cool to have. Uh, especially if you have to have two out of two. You know, you got to have... Uh, originally, I was going to try to pick up another one. But I only had enough to get for one today as well. And those, uh, which is uh, these and those two which I'll show you here in a bit but you know definitely for sure if you come across one of these on eBay go pick them up uh, they're very hard to find out unless if you get lucky and then therefore you could just go from there but you know overall the cool thing about the Kenner version is the window comes apart even though if the T-Rex will come battle battle with it you know and it does go with the gun and uh, you know my missile is somewhere within my collection but you know it's a pretty awesome piece overall you know it's definitely a cool item to have which this one cost me between maybe like 50 50 dollars uh i think it was like 40 straight out of the box and the box didn't uh, go with it sadly but you know the boxes are very rare even though it had the Jurassic park logo and this one has the jp 18 on it it's pretty darn cool and of course the window doesn't come out too either which that would have been a cool feature too as well so um, I'm going to open this here in a little while and uh, got my Dilophosaurus right next to it, I'm surprised the battery still works Bullseye! This is a Jurassic World Dilophosaurus which is definitely cool to have you know something to have fun with the put it next to your Jeep. So why not? Alright, moving on to as you can see, I've already took one out of the box. Uh, I got these probably like a couple weeks ago. 
uh, definitely well worth getting over at uh, Walmart because you know you never know what Walmart might have nowadays. So I highly recommend that you should go pick these up. You know, two is better than one because obviously that way you could be able to have fun with these and uh, two for displays and two for play. You know, why not? So uh, I got lucky with these and these were like 94 cents. If you could definitely go at Walmart, 94 cents is uh, not you know, not bad and that's the best way to go. So um, that will go along great with... Uh, both of these Jeeps right here and I also picked up this was probably like a month ago uh, this is the Jurassic World Jeep which is nothing from you know the Jurassic World film it's just something that uh, they throw in you know just to make it look good but to me it's pretty darn cool and that will also look good next to these Jeeps too as well next up we have the uh, Mercedes and this was definitely in the first film. It wasn't definitely in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But, you know, these are the battle versions that uh, I've been looking for. And these are also 94 cents, too. Also, along with the gyrosphere. Definitely something cool as well. And it's a little one-inch gyrosphere. But, you know, the, the cool thing is, is that when you roll it, it feels like it's all, you know, one piece. Um... Definitely for sure, it's like, it's very plastic, and you can see through it. And not only that, the seats rotate in there. You know, that's pretty cool. It squeaks, but you know, what do you expect? So, if you can find one of those, both of these cost 94 cents, which is not bad. All in total, will run around 2 bucks. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely a huge find, too, as well. You decide to go get one of those. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Forgot to mention about this one. I got two of those, too, as well. Because, you know, like I said, two of everything uh, two for play and two for display. So there you go. And I picked these up today, too, as well. So I figured I was like, oh, yes, I have been waiting for a long time for these these always go quick and you got to pick these up while you have the chance because they go quick and people are actually legitimately buying uh everything and you know it's just very rare to even find the rv uh, my plan is to uh cut uh the front and uh with my soldering iron cut that part off and then make two of that as well as if it was two RVs, uh, you know, as using the Lost World of Jurassic Park, which is pretty awesome. That's why I figured I picked up two of these and it'll be easier from there. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do the, the front area uh, right here. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know. This will probably be a different project to work on. Uh, that'll be a fun video or... Uh, I'll let you guys know, definitely for sure. So these were like a dollar, a dollar and four cents, which is not bad versus Walmart prices. But these are very hard to find, especially over at Walmart, because Walmart always has these ones here, and that's where I got mine at, which is over at Walmart. I got lucky with those. So um, also I got the Mercedes. They had these at Target over at our Target, which is at the Eagle Rock. Plaza Target and uh, got very very lucky with these two. Um, I figured I picked up two of these because in the movie there was two of them, and um, these were like the same price, so it was like a dollar and four. But overall, it was definitely worth having. Uh, last but not least, I got two Ford Explorers because you know you gotta have two Ford Explorers. I mean, come on, you, you just gotta. Because the reason why, you know, because the first Jurassic Park film had two Ford Explorers. So I definitely like the color. Uh, I wish they would have done better. I wish they would have painted more accurate to the film. Uh, maybe I might do some mods with this here and there. You know, I like it. Just as the same with the Jeeps. I wish they could have uh, maybe uh, paint the back 
black exactly like the way they did with the tires and also paint it um, like that you know uh, brown because technically it's supposed to be brown so uh, anyways that's the haul right there I just also had these I got these since two weeks ago and definitely was a good haul along with those jeeps while we were at Walmart all right you guys I'm gonna open this up uh, I'm not gonna do a full unboxing I'm just gonna take it out of the box I had to move into the living room uh, or change a bit of scenery because my wife is gonna go to bed but uh, anyways guys it's been a long day for us too as well we just finished the movie Goosebumps so it's definitely an interesting moment uh, a little quicker than expected I definitely like the first Goosebumps movie and we also saw the house with the clocks in the walls and that movie was pretty good too as well it also kind of felt like a Goosebumps film too as well so anywho um, that's my watch going off in the background but uh, yeah guys overall you can see that Ellen Grant also fits in there too as well because he's also a legacy uh, figure too and those figures seem to go pretty darn quick too as well but um, if you're definitely looking forward on picking one of these up over at your local Target or wherever store that you want to go check them out I highly recommend Target you know uh, just call Target and ask them around if you want to see if they still have any of these available also goes for the RC Jeeps and uh, ahead of time do not um, pick one of these up over at Universal Studios Hollywood if you plan to go pick them up there uh, if you have to go pick them up uh, these will cost like between $40 I kid you not anywhere between 40 um, and you know $50 and up and uh, definitely uh, not worth the haul to go pick up over there unless you really absolutely have to and yes uh, they don't really have any of the legacy vehicles there mostly They'll have just the battle uh, vehicles too as well if you get lucky with those. Uh, good luck with that. But if you wait patient enough, they will be able to hit your stores anytime, anywhere, unless you have to absolutely buy them online too as well. But overall, uh, I hope you guys enjoy my short little review. And you know, I have been waiting patient for quite a long time to hopefully that Target will be able to own these again and you know sure enough I was like yay they finally got the RVs and you know it's been a while but uh overall guys definitely for sure subscribe to the channel if you're new on this YouTube channel and I welcome you all and uh later on I will do a video review on my spirit pack Ghostbusters proton pack so that'll definitely be a video for another time and as always Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys uh, sometime in another video showing you guys that awesome Proton Pack. Because it's definitely a lot of fun to have. Uh, till then, I will see you guys next time.